Well, welcome to day 21 of our 21 days in the book of John, and I hope that you have benefited from it. I've enjoyed my time. Sad to see the last chapter today. But since we're here on John 21, I think it's only appropriate that we're standing on the banks of our local lake today doing some fishing because in John 21, it's all about fishing. And isn't that funny? Don't you ever think that that's kind of funny that in chapter 20, Jesus comes from the tomb, all this amazing stuff happens. And like, you go to 21 and now we're fishing. <laughs> it's like, what just happened? This is not a Hallmark movie. This is not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to have ended over there, all is well in the world. And now we're in chapter 21 and now we're going fishing. But I believe there's something that's important for us to see there. I don't think that that's by accident. I think it's important. And let's look at that because you know, Jesus is sitting on the shore. They don't know he's there. He sees they're fishing. They're not catching anything. He says, well, cast your nets on the other side. They do. They catch all kinds of fish. You know that story. But a lot of people miss this, is that there's another story that people think is the same one in a different gospel, Luke, but it's not the same story. But it sounds really very much the same, but it's not. Luke 5, Jesus is beginning his ministry. He's preaching, teaching on the shore. And it gets too crowded. So he gets into the boat of a guy named Simon, <laughs> soon to be Peter, who's also here in John 21. But there's a whole time frame that's went by now. But he gets into this boat in Luke 5. And he says, could you pull out from the shore? Peter does, or Simon does. And then after he gets done, he looks at Simon. He says, now, let's go fish. Simon says, we've been out all night. We didn't catch a thing. He says, yeah, but let's go try it my way. They do, we, they, they bring in loads, boat loads of fish. And then we see that they left everything and followed Jesus. That was the beginning. And here we are several years later and our ending is with another catch of fish. <laughs> Isn't that interesting to think that Jesus met them there where they were. He called them, they walked with him, They've been transformed. Their lives will never be the same. They have sacrificed things. Their families have sacrificed things. And here they are. They're discouraged. They don't know what to do. And Jesus meets them in their discouragement. You see, we don't just have a Savior that's victorious. We don't have just a Savior that's all powerful. We have a Savior that cares enough for us to meet us, even when we're confused, even when we fail. Because if you take somebody like Peter, who denied Jesus three times just recently now, according to John 21 and those last few chapters, the bad part about that is not only did he screw up, but Jesus told him he was going to screw up. Could you imagine the battles that he would have went through? Think about it. When Jesus met him on the boat in Luke 5, and where he's at now is night and day difference, completely transformed, but he's still a human being that can make mistakes. And I love John 21 because it shows us that we don't just have a Savior that has given all, who poured it all out, who resurrected from the dead, but we have a Savior that still pursues us, one that loves us, and one that cares enough for us to meet us where we are, to hold his arm around us, and to reinstate us like he did Peter in John 21. Because Peter needed this moment. And you know what's interesting is if you look past this, over in the Acts and over throughout some of the New Testament, I don't see Peter looking back again after this. This mistake would have been the end of Peter if it had not been for John 21 when Jesus comes along and reinstates him and says, things are going to be okay. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. <laughs> You've got a savior today. He's not just your king. He's not just your victorious warrior. He's not just the lover of your soul, but he's also the one that'll put his arm around you and reassure you that even though you've messed up, it'll be all right. Love you guys.